How did people really dress in the Wild West? Contrary to popular belief, the style of hat worn at that time doesn't matter as long as it had a wide brim. And cowboys would save months of their salaries just to have custom-made boots for them. At the end of this video, you will discover why cowboys were eager to have a pair of personalized boots. But first, let us show you what people wore in the Old West. In those days, the pioneers usually wore attires depending on the working and living conditions they had. The occupations at that time were miners, cowboys, scouts, and many more. The attire used was often chosen for the comfort it would provide while doing their tasks on hand. So, the people manufactured clothing with materials like cotton from farms, wool from fur trappers, and leather from hunters. These factors became the basis of the attires, which were essential in living in the Old West. The first style of hat that was worn was the bowler hat. However, people found that hat inefficient when they often spent days outside exposed to elements like the sun's heat and rain. So the sombreros and the slouch hat became popular because they had wider brims that provided better protection. These hats would often have what they called stampede strings to avoid it falling off when riding horses at breakneck speed. However, what came on top was the Stetson hat, for it had wide brims but it was more durable and had lighter weight. Then the shirt they used was usually made of cotton, linen, and even silk to provide maximum comfort. However, since the Wild West was happening during the late Victorian era, this influenced the fashion and materials used for the shirts. The loose cotton shirts became long sleeves made from denim and fabric, which made them more durable. Also, it became more intricately designed with stylish yokes, piping, and rose embroideries. And the most important part was the pocket which was used to keep booklets for counting cattle herd or a revolver for safety. Also in partnership with the shirt was the vest and coat. Before continuing, we would really appreciate a like to this video. If you also want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. This became one of the iconic attires that defined the Wild West culture. Many images taken that time of famous West personalities wore this attire, like Wyatt Earp, Billy the Kid, and etc. There were different types like the sack coat and denim jackets, but this had one thing in common. They were made with lots of pockets inside and outside. Yes, it was for keeping guns, money, and other miscellaneous items. Then, they also wore waistcoats or vests for fashion, but also for protection, since James Miller was saved by his self-made bulletproof vest more than once. And to complete the whole attire, he had the cowboy boots. This was said to be the most important part of their clothing, because people often traveled in uneven terrains or muddy waters. The boots were designed against injuries from sharp-edged rocks, rattlesnakes, and scorpion stings. It was also designed to ensure safe mounting and dismounting from horse saddle, since if you accidentally dismounted and your boots got stuck while riding, then you're dead. So having custom-made boots at that time was a must and meant a second life. We discovered what American pioneers wore in their time. So click this and discover the greatest explorers and pioneers of the Old West. 